of support today in Newport News for a NASA contractor arrested for lying to federal agents. The detention hearing against Bojang was delayed today. 10 on your side's Andy Fox was in the courtroom and now he's in the newsroom. Andy? The detention hearing was continued by Jang due to language and cultural barriers. What took place was an initial appearance on an indictment handed down yesterday by a grand jury. The question will be, was the computer found with Jang, one that belonged to NASA Langley, and what information is in the computer? Jang is only charged with lying to law enforcement. He is not charged yet with espionage. Bo Jang sat with headphones listening to an interpreter because we are told he speaks only a little English. Jang's mother was in court and was emotional outside court, crying, afraid she has lost her son forever. Through an interpreter, we asked her some questions. He's accused of lying to law enforcement. Can you ask her if she thinks he did that? Why do you think he did that? No, I think she, she thinks he's innocent. So, yeah. Can, can you ask her? How he got himself in this situation? Uh, she didn't want to answer that and started crying over the situation her son finds himself in. Jang is accused of getting on a plane with a one-way ticket to China. During what is called a consensual encounter, a Homeland Security agent asked Jang what electronic media he had with him. Jang turned over a cell phone, memory stick, external hard drive, new computer. During the search, though, law enforcement also found additional items, additional laptop, old hard drive, a SIM card. He was taken into custody, and in court today, he had 15 supporters there. He has a really bad uh, English accent. He, he can't really speak English all too well. Yeah. So I, I don't know what's the difference between saying he has one computer when he has two, whether or not that was conveyed to him properly or not. Here's how we believe Jang ended up working at NASA Langley. He was a PhD student at ODU, and we believe he graduated from there in 2010. His advisor, teaching advisor, was affiliated with NASA Langley, and that advisor brought Jang to NASA Langley. Tonight in our 90 Minutes of News, Jang's friends want to believe this is a huge misunderstanding. That tonight at 6. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.